In this video, you will see a demonstration about the connection between Flux and HyperSteady. We use a tutorial example of magnetic contactor designed and solved with Flux2D magnetostatic application. The baseline model contains uh, several geometric parameters to control the magnetic core and the coils, as well as physical parameter to control the current in the coils. The performance of interest is the magnetic force exerts on the mobile part, which is measured using a sensor in flux, and we have an input-output parameter to extract the Y component. So the model is ready to be explored with HyperStudy, and we can go ahead and generate a component for HyperStudy coupling using the command through the solving menu. In this dialog window, we need compulsory to give a name and select component inputs and outputs. Let's go ahead and select all the geometric parameters as well as the physical parameter for the current. And regarding the outputs, let's go ahead and select the force. Once we are ready, we hit OK which will generate component for HyperStudy. Let's look now in the working folder where you will see two new items, a duplication of the baseline flux model, as well as a link file with extension F2HST. These two items are used by HyperStudy to establish the connection. Now let's go ahead and open a HyperStudy session. A good practice is to keep the files in the same location. So open the HyperStudy session in the same location where you have your Flux files. New study and paste the path. In order to create the connection, you can either add model, select Flux, and browse the F2HST you have exported from Flux. Or you can also use the access to directory and simply drag from directory and release in the working area the F2HST file. After this, we click Import in order to bring in HyperStudy the list of inputs and the outputs you have, we have selected from Flux. The last uh, step is to validate the connection, which consists in running the definition, which goes through write, execute and extract tasks, what is happening now in the background is that HyperStudy is launching Flux in batch mode, open the model, um, change the parameters, mesh again the geometry, and solve it. With this, our setup is ready, and we can go ahead and add the exploration studies we would like to run, such as DOE, optimization, and so on.